Hello. It is Friday morning. I am Lucas, your Friday trans ball of fluff, and I am exhausted. So, this morning, my coffee is my lover. This week, I'm going to be talking to you about outing. Um, uh, I don't know. My opinion on outing is kind of like... Mm, depending on the situation, like, um, if you're outing someone in a malicious way, then that's never, ever good. Never. I will cut you. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Like, if you out someone, like, um, especially if, uh, outing said person could result in a dangerous situation, um, then that's never good. Um. But, like, if you're, like, outing someone to, like, a potential ally or, like, somebody else who might also be, like, uh, like you, like, for example, um, if another trans person is looking for someone to, like, talk to, um, of course there's the internet, but, like, if they need someone to talk to, like, face-to-face -face or something, um, that can, that can also be problematic as far as safety as well, um, I guess, depending on who might hear it, um, when you're disclosing. So it really does depend upon the situation for me as far as, like, disclosing someone else's status, um, as far as myself, um, I... I don't know, like, within the GLBT, GLBT community, um, where I live, you know, and where I go to university, like, that isn't, like, that's not something I keep, um, under wraps, um, I pretty much disclose it all the time, whether I'm fully aware of it or not, um, so friends disclosing it to like, potential allies or potential, like, queer people. Um, I don't see that as an issue in my own situation. I can definitely see why it would be for others, others who might not be out, others who might not be comfortable um, having that information shared so freely. Or, um, oh, jeez, I'm trying to think of another word. It's like almost seven in the morning, brain not waking up. Um, more coffee. Mm. And especially like if I haven't met this person that like knows my information all of a sudden. But then again, I think, well, I was in a play about trans stuff. So then people might automatically think that I'm trans, which is true, but, you know, the assumption would still be there in that situation. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I have been outed, um, but not, like, I don't know, in an academic setting, I've been outed more as, like, an other than, you know specifically trans, because I've been in a couple of situations where my teachers would, like, say my birth name, and then I would have to correct them, and then it would just be like, what the shit? You know, that's what I think people are thinking when that happens. Because when, uh, presu presumably, um, cisgender individual, like, has a nickname, and, you know, it stays relatively within, like, either a sort of, like, masculine or feminine or whatever sort of type of name that other people might assume fits their general description. And when they announce that, like, people don't seem to be all up in arms about it. But in my experiences, and some other trans people might have, like, something like this happen to them, where, like... Someone will say your birth name, and then you say what your name is, and then, like, the individual who 
messed up will be like confused or it takes them a really long time to say your name instead of your birth name um, if they ever do. Um, I, I know that's happened to me, but eventually my teachers who I'm referring to have used my name. Um, I think I just, I think I experienced this a little bit more because my birth name is still my legal name. Um, someday that won't be as much of an issue as it is now, but I do definitely like send my teacher's emails ahead of time, like explaining the situation to avoid, um, that sort of experience in class. But even then at times like that will still happen. So it does in a way feel a little bit like outing because, um, uh, like I said, um, the type of, uh, birth name someone might have and their name might be drastically different, whether it's like, uh, comparing like a more feminine na for more feminine name to a more masculine name or vice versa, or, you know, just something that, uh, people might perceive as like, uh, not a description of you or something. I don't know. I'm trying to theorize all this and still not awake. <sighs> I know I'm all colorful and stuff, but really I'm just like, uh, not quite Dawn of the Dead, but Anyways, um, outing, like a lot of other sort of things in the community, um, as far as what could be considered controversial does really depend upon the situation, and that's my opinion on that. So, I'm gonna go get ready for work so I can get the moolah and finish my coffee. So... Um, happy birthday, George Takei. Um, happy Friday. Happy 420, um, whether or not you celebrate it. Um, this has been Lucas, your Friday trans ball of fluff, and I will see you next week.